Welcome back to Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead Challenges. I'm still doing these, because uh, I'm doing stuff that I normally wouldn't do. And that's cool. So, we're going to start a new one. This is weekly challenge thread number three. The challenge is nerd! Exclamation mark. You are the very definition of a stereotypical nerd. You're possibly the scorniest and weakest person on the planet. Along with that, you have asthma, can't take many hits, and have to wear glasses. But we are smart, blah blah blah. So, yeah, the world options are the same as the last one I did, so... Don't need to generate a new world, but we gotta turn strength, dexterity down to 6. Intelligence up to 14, which is ridiculous. Perception up to 12. I thought I needed glasses. Hmm, okay, traits. We're gonna have fast learner. And fast reader. And the negative, we've got to be asthmatic. And like I said, this is something I've never picked before. I've never thought, well, isn't that great? I'll be asthmatic. It's going to be flimsy, so 25% less hit points than usual. I'm going to be lightweight, if I can find it. Learn your alphabet. Uh, yeah, some of the negative effects of alcohol and drugs. You know, alcohol is a drug, that's a bit redundant. Nearsighted. And profession. We're going to be a student. What is a student? Are these in alphabetical order? No, they're not. Uh, so we get pants, a t-shirt, a pair of sneakers, zombie survival guide, a backpack, Principles of Effective Communication, Big Book of Short Stories, How to Browse the Web, Coming of Age Novel, Box Shorts. So basically get a bunch of books, which I'll probably drop <laughs> immediately. Uh, well, I don't know. There might be something useful in there. Uh, skills. I need to scroll down the page a little bit here. There we go. Skills Dodging 4. Uh, that and electronics too. Whoops. I got a point left. Why do I have a point left? Hmm. Yeah, I mean I'm using an experimental, so the the points cost of something might have been might have been changed in the meantime. So I don't know, I guess more perception. There you go. Just throw in that random point somewhere. Glenn Brennan. That sounds like a nerdy name to me. Apologies if that is by some bizarre coincidence your name. Do you want to travel with me? Because I'm a total nerd. You got it! I'm with you! Oh, cool. We got ourselves a girlfriend. Mother would be proud. Well, let us take our new female friend. They are female, aren't they? I mean, Helene Faye. That sounds like a female name to me. Alright, let's, uh... Well, we're going to open a curtain, so you can see what we're doing. Could have read by the light of that terminal, but... Yeah, I want to see... Well, this is... Increases your morale by two. It takes 18 minutes to read. And uh, that'll bring my computer skill up to two. And, yeah, that's just for fun. Just for fun. And what does that do? Requires speaking level of three to understand. Why did I start with this? I don't have the skill to read it. Yeah, so basically, I mean, that computer's book is useful, but not right now. So, um... Do I have to manually use this inhaler? Occasionally needs to use an inhaler, or else suffer severe physical limitations. I'm guaranteed to start with an inhaler. Okay, well, we're starting with 44 storage. Which is quite nice. Now, uh, hopefully there's no insane NPCs in this basement. Which I have experienced a couple of times now. So I've got a pair, box of matches. There's something down here. I can see it. Uh, a fitted long sleeve shirt. Should be reasonably warm. There's definitely something here. What is it? Uh, tuna fish and noodle soup. What is... Th oh, really? Really? A zombie master in the basement? You've got to be shitting me. Okay. Uh, please kill that for me. I am a horribly asthmatic nerd, so... Well, what are you actually wielding, though? An active flashbang? What the fuck? <laughs> Run away! 
Okay, I think that she might die, yes. Very dying. Are you even remotely hurt? Lightly injured. Uh, come on, guys, really? A zombie master in the basement? <sighs> okay, what can we even see? Well, what are these M's? Motels? Okay. Fast food and bar? Yeah, I mean, it's all a bit bloody redundant when there's a zombie master chasing me, but... Yeah, I'm just barely fast enough to get away from it. The sunlight's glare makes it hard to see. Hopefully it'll get distracted by a spider or something. I could lead it... What the fuck? There's a fucking cat explosion going on here. What is this? Why are there so many cats? <laughs> Uh, maybe I could lure it into this web and set fire to it. Um, so I do have matches. Set fire to it, yes. Oh, it was very on fire for a second there. <laughs> it's still lightly injured. Fuck. Okay, uh, probably gonna get a little bit singed. Walking around here, but... No, uh, it's not going for it, is it? It's not really happy about walking through fire. This is ridiculous. I've just spawned, and I'm being chased by a zombie master. How the hell am I supposed to deal with this? I can't kill it. I can't stay still long enough to craft a weapon. So, yeah, i got to use my intelligence. Did it die? Yeah, I set fire to it. I did smart stuff. I am so smart. And it's burnt as well, so I don't think it's coming back to life. Let's just uh, wait around for a while, make sure. And uh, yeah, it just says burnt. Okay, so I think I might just go back to my shelter, because at the very least I can pick up my friends. Yeah! What the fuck? <laughs> Why? Why am I getting inundated with horrible shit? There's a zombie bio-operator. This is new to me. I don't know what this is. This armored and augmented soldier's bionics... <coughs> Excuse me. Bionics crackle with energy. Worse, it appears to remember its training. Oh, fuck no. Do you like fire? I got a big fire for it. Oh, it's really fast. Why is there a crack as well? What is this? What the... Oh, there's a science away team over here, isn't there? Yeah. Yeah, Science Away teams now are just horrible. I mean, they used to be like free stuff, so I guess maybe this is their way of balancing them, but... Oh my god! This is just one hit. And it's blinded me and made me bleed and ripped everything that I own. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, okay. What can I do here? What can I do? I can't set it on fire directly, can I? There's nothing to light there. Nope. And somehow I don't think that a little fire under its feet is really going to make much of a difference either. So... Oh, uh, Jesus. I don't have anything. I can throw a tin of tuna at it. Oh, I hit it in the head. Hell yes. For three damage. Woo! Lightly injured. Yeah, take that. Um, <laughs> what the fuck? How am I supposed to deal with this shit? I'll just throw that at it again. I did more damage than I would with my... <laughs> I basically just died in like three hits there. Uh, last words. I don't even know. Uh, just... Why is this happening? <laughs> Uh, I'll try that again, as is customary for these things. You gotta try at least more than once. Okay, a new nerd. It is Craig Ferguson. I got all the same traits. Uh, a slight difference, I used that one point accidentally to give myself extra electronic skill. So let's see if this NPC will travel with me. Uh... We're friends, aren't we? No. No, they heard what happened to the last one, so... Uh, okay, where are... Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, we're in the middle of a zombie horde. Thanks for that. Uh, oh, right, we're basically right opposite where we started last time. 
Yeah, I think so. I mean, not the last nerd, but I recognize this particular setup of evac shelters. Okay, well, let's try... I'm going to smack the wall a couple of times, see if I see any question marks. No. So I don't think there's anything down here. Uh, what is that? Kind of mushroom soup. Disgusting. Ooh, a hammer. I'll have the hammer. Yeah, I really don't like mushrooms. They're not food, as far as I'm concerned. Ooh, first aid kits. Now, again, you're being nice to me, and it's making me very suspicious. And flashlight. Uh, clam chowder. Very good. Uh, what is this? Matches? Wow. Thanks, dude. <laughs> Thank you, basement gods. Uh, so that's just giving me a, a light source, some fire source, and, and a weapon, and a bunch of food. So let's wield our hammer. It's a pretty decent weapon, I think. N for hammer. Let's make it H for hammer, shall we? There we go. Demagnetized steel hammer with a rubber grip. Hammer, nails, and 2x4s in your inventory. You can board up adjacent doors and windows. It has myriad other uses as well. Yes, it's a hammer. Thank you, description, for explaining what a hammer does. Uh, well, I don't actually see any zombies, so I think if we're quiet, we might be okay now. But yeah, I probably should say what the objectives are for this. Oh, there's a zombie. Hello. Uh, one of them is read all of the books in your backpack. Yeah, I probably won't do that. Because I will be dropping them. There we go. I guess I could come back here and read them one day. Stepping out of your boundaries, learn mechanics, and build a car. That sounds cool. And I can fight if I need to, kill a total of 50 things. That's not going to be easy. Uh, but I need to vacate this area just about as quickly as I can. Because there is zombies everywhere, and... I'm probably going in the wrong direction, but... I mean, we need to avoid combat with this guy, don't we? So usually, if I wanted to avoid combat, I would run off into the wilderness and hopefully find some dead away teams, but then... They seem to have made a few alterations to those. For example... What on earth is going on here? What is this? Are these smoker zombies? Thin smoke? Uh... I don't know. Amoebic mold? Blobs? Well, something's coming at me. What is that? What is a blob which is heavily injured? I think for some reason... Okay, I think I just saw a smoker zombie inside that smoke. So yeah, I think there's a fight going on, basically, between smoker zombies and blobs and mold. Which is interesting. Uh... <laughs> I don't even know, man. Um, what's under this flower? A rock. Oh shit, something's coming at me. Yeah. Yeah, and luckily these are really, really slow. So that's fine. But that smoker zombie is fast. And I know it's fast. So I gotta be quiet. We don't want to smoke cigarettes as an asthmatic. I really don't think. Uh... Yeah, I'll grab the cargo pants. How long does it take to put these on? Eh, a few seconds. So is that encumbering my legs? It is a little bit. But uh, we have pants. We'll get rid of those. Pants are useless. Eh, still encumbering my legs though. Oh, yeah. The uh, smoker zombie's moving around a little bit. It's coming after me. But yeah, I got a bunch of drugs over here, I think. What is this? In-depth look at various styles of close quarters fighting. There's an amusing essay about dirty tricks in the front section. Huh. That sounds like it would be quite useful, actually. Uh, I'm not going to take the low-grade meth, I don't think. Yeah, it just seems like more trouble than it's worth, really. We are a lightweight. So, grab the bandages. Improved iron sights. Improved in what manner? Steel toe cap boots. Yeah, they don't fit. 
these cargo pants fit me, but they're also shredded, so they'll probably break in like one hit. Meat jerkies, raincoat, panties. Despite being a nerd, I will not sniff the panties. Uh, okay, what was that? Torn cargo pants to fit. Yoink. Alright, so uh, we'll just drop the other ones. There we go. And wear those ones. And they're about the same. Right, so that was quite uh, fruitful. Uh, go up this river, see what's up here. I'm going to turn safe mode back on. And it shouldn't interrupt me with those molds down there. What is that? Is that a fish? What are you? Stay still. No, I don't want water. Well, I guess I can drink from the river. Yeah, go for it. What is that? It is a shrew! Oh, okay. Oh, I'm displacing it. I guess I have to throw things at it to kill it. Never mind. I don't think I would get any meat from it anyway, so... Ah, strawberries. Yeah, life's not so bad. As a nerd in the apocalypse, just running around picking strawberries and trying on different pairs of trousers. I'm not going to try and swim, though. Uh, what are you miserable about? Oh, right, I went crashing about in the river, of course. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like there's a bridge for this road up ahead as well. What is that? One rock. Yeah, I have the perception to be able to go through a swamp now. Normally I would avoid them like the plague if I had low perception, like anything less than 12. Because you can just fall down sinkholes and never ever get out again. Unless you happen to be carrying like a 20 pound rope in your backpack. <laughs> so, yeah, fuck that. But I can see where I'm going, so it's fine. Uh, oh, there's a lab here. But I can't get into it. I can't get across this river here either. That's disappointing. I guess I could just keep following it and see where it goes. I just, for no reason whatsoever, but, oh well. Yeah, I can just pick uh, apples and the trees and stuff. Like, I've no idea what I'm looking for. I mean, basically, oh, is there a zombie horde coming this way? Uh-oh. Yeah, looks like it. Alright, opposite direction. Sounds good. But yeah, basically just looking for some random cash to just drop at my feet of awesome weapons and stuff. What was that up there? That was an apple tree. Okay. Yeah, damn apple trees looking like stuff. Alright, let's get out. How's that zombie horde doing? Okay, it's sort of coming this way-ish. I've got safe mode on, so... We'll be fine. Oh, there we go. Zombies to the northeast. Oh, it made the horde really big. Let's go this way. I'm <laughs> just crashing around in the woods for no reason. But it's all time that I am surviving. Uh-oh. Oh, why are they following me? No. Yeah, I don't know, these hordes are going to make life very, very difficult, I think. For everybody. Oh shit, that fucking smoke is still there. Ugh! Okay, the uh, the blob nearly got at me then. But I think I escaped it. It's all good. I see a crawling zombie. Where the hell is that? Where is it? Oh, there it is. I see it. Yeah. Right, let's get away from that. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything lying around on the floor, which is usually my favorite place to find things. Okay, uh, I guess we're going to go to the school. <laughs> That's a clever idea, isn't it? Alright, what have I got here? Camo tank top that fits. It fits me perfectly. Uh, I guess I'll wear it and drop my t-shirt. Because, you know, we're, all, we're survivalists now. we got to dress the part. Black box. Lame. What is this? It's an LMG. Uh, it uses, is it a grenade launcher or something? I don't know. <laughs> Guns, man. 
They're just a mystery to me. Composite plating. Army helmets. Very nice. I will have that. Uh, that is a rock. I hoped for a second it was a grenade, but under the circumstances it's probably best that it isn't. Chunk of steel. A lump of steel. Now what is this thing here? Can I wriggle my way through? I can actually. Go here. Internal storage CBM. I wonder if I could just install that right off the bat. I've got really high intelligence. 50% chance of genetic damage. 50-50? Yeah, fuck it, I'll take it. The installation is faulty. Bollocks. Visual disruptor. Ah, that'll actually probably work on the... on the Curses version. But yeah, let's read the description. A malfunctioning bionic which causes occasional visual distortion and pixelation. Don't. Alright, so found another town down here. Let's get a... Oh god. Your vision pixelated. Uh, monster spotted. Uh oh. Yeah, that's a little bit trippy actually. There's just like bushes and stuff randomly appearing. Oh my god, look how many zombies there are down there. What the Jesus Christ. Okay, there's a grocery store. I just don't think I can get anywhere near a town with this with this level of stats. And uh, the spawn rate's on 1.5 as well, which is... Fuck me, what are those things? Bloated zombies, okay. Okay. <laughs> Fucking hell. Look how many enemies I can see. Holy shit. Uh, where are the woods? Right, so right up here. Would you like to join me in the woods? Promise I won't set them on fire. <laughs> okay, um... You, young tree, shall be on fire. And please spread quite rapidly, but not rapidly enough that I get caught in the flames as well. Uh, this could be problematic. <laughs> I'm just running around setting trees on fire. Can I light the big tree with a match? How on earth am I doing that? Oh, there is a, a spider web though. Oh, that would be awesome if I could set that on fire. Yeah, I can see the fire spreading now. This is uh, potentially an awesome tactic. I may have just created a pyromaniac. Or I may have just burned down a forest for no reason. I think the latter is quite likely. Alright, so I think I'll wrap this video up here before it gets too long. So, next time, find out whether I set off a fire for no reason. <laughs>